Okay, Doug. So when we press the plug-in mode button, the learn button a second time, we go to plug-in channel view. But this is plug-in channel view uninitialized, so to speak. Okay, because look, the first press of the plug-in button takes us to plug-in mixer view. We're addressing plug-in slot two, so if I press the pot, it opens the plug-in in plug-in slot two per channel. So this will open the plug-in on slot two for the fourth channel, which it does. Once that plug-in GUI is open, the BCF switches to plug-in channel view and the pots are then controlling the parameters of that open plug-in. Right? That's plug-in channel view initialized. In other words, there's a plug-in open to edit. So the page number appears and the pots become then editing the parameters of the open plugin. But if I just go to the plugin channel view by pressing the button a second time without a plugin open, we're then in plugin channel view, sort of what I call uninitialized. In other words, we select a channel, and whichever channel we've selected, this row of pots along the top then controls the opening of the plugin for the eight insert slots on that selected channel. So this will open the plugin on slot one on this channel. This will open the plugin on slot two on this channel. And this will open the plugin in slot three in this channel. But four, five, six, seven, and eight slots do not have a plugin in on this channel. All right. And you can vaguely see that the the, the four the plugin slot four, five, six, seven, and eight on this channel don't have a plugin in, and their LED display is sort of down at the bottom. But the first three slots do have a plug-in in and their LEDs are displaying some type of display different. Well, it's, at least it's not down at the bottom, so you know that there's a plug-in in those three slots. But the position of the LED in no way is sort of relevant to which plug-in is, is selected. There's no way to associate the LED position with the plug-in that's in that slot. All right? It just means that there is something in there. Okay, so that's what plug-in um, channel view sort of what I call uninitialized means. In other words, when you just go to channel view by pressing the plug-in view twice, or the plug-in mode button twice. Plug-in mixer view, this opens the plug-in for the selected slot per channel. Plug-in channel view uninitialized, these then become the plug-in slots for the selected channel. So, if I wanted to open the chorus on the fifth channel, I go to the fifth channel, which has a chorus on the third plug-in slot. Plug-in slot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So plug-in slot three, if I press that, it opens the chorus because the chorus is on the third slot. One, two, three, for the selected channel. There you go, the chorus opens, and then the display of the BCF and the BCF shifts into plug-in channel view initialized. In other words, the plug-in is open, and the pots then change to give me the controls of the plugin. And in this case, there's only three controls, so there's only three active pots, and there are no pages to step up and down. Does that make sense? All right. Uh, oh yeah, there is one last little thing which I can fit in actually. On some of the bigger plugins, all right. Um, all right. Um, plugin channel view uninitialized. So I'm looking at the plugin, the H plugin slots for the selected channel. So I'll choose channel one. Okay, it's got a compressor on slot two. Slot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So slot two, I press it, the compressor opens. The plugin channel view goes into its initialized mode and the pots are now controlling the parameters of that plugin. Now, there is actually a way to change the order in which the pots are controlling those parameters of each individual plugin. All right, so Macintosh hard drive, library, application support, logic, plugin settings. I'll choose the compressor. Now, here we are. CS parameter order playlist. Okay, look, uh, if I go to the DS, 
Yeah, there it is. CS parameter order playlist for the DS. -er. Or I go to the DJ EQ. Oh, that hasn't really got one. Chorus, that won't have one really. It hasn't got enough parameters. Uh, the auto filter, that will have one. CS parameter order playlist. Okay, so look, let's choose the compressor. If you open the CS parameter order playlist, right? Look, there's the parameters. So as I, okay, I'm I'm editing that plugin now, and tr the trouble is this parameter list will probably disappear as I do this. So I'll try holding the mouse on it, see if that works. I'm now editing the controls in the first page of plugin two for the selected channel, and it's the compressor. So look, that controls the circuit type, the first pot, all right? And sure enough, first thing in this list is nine, circuit type. Let me see if it disappears without holding it with the mouse. Second pot, that's controlling the threshold. And sure enough, here in the list, look, compressor threshold there is the second thing in the playlist, so to speak. All right. Third pot, it's the ratio, and there it is, ratio, the third setting. Fourth setting, attack, and there it is, attack, the fourth setting there, right? Fifth setting, release, and there it is, fifth setting, release. So the point is, you just have to open this playlist for the particular plugin which you get from inside its folder in Macintosh Hard Drive, Application Support, Logic, Plugin Settings, and then choose the particular plugin. And this is the same for the synths as well, but we, we haven't got on to editing those yet. Um, all you have to do is move these around. So, for example, if I don't want the circuit type to be first, I want the threshold, ratio, attack, and release okay, to be my initial settings, what I have to do is move this string, command x, Let's move that up, so it'll work this way now, Can, uh, threshold, ratio, attack, release, and, and then auto release, and then gain, um, I'll tell you what, I'll put it after release. Oh no, after auto release. So paste that in. Okay, so the circuit type type is now the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth parameter. Now I don't know if I have to save this to make that work. Let's try it. Yeah, okay, it hasn't done it. So I'll, I'll close this. Save. All right, now watch. Oh, damn it, maybe I have to open it again. Let's try opening it again. Ah, why hasn't it worked? It should bloody work. Oh, what a bloody letdown. Do I have to close and open logic again? Surely not. Let me save this. I'll quit logic. Will this fit? We've got three minutes left. I'll open Logic again. Close this bloody text edit. Hang on. I'll open Logic again. <laughs> and I'll open that song again. Let's see. Okay, so go to Plugin Channel View, press the second. That's slot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Plugin channel view uninitialized, so we're looking at the plugin slots for this channel. Press the second pot, which will open the compressor. Now, let's see. I've got to reactivate my page. Hang on, because the page display isn't showing in the BCF. Control surfaces setup. Change the display mode to name. We've got the page number here. Right, so has it worked? Yes! Alright, so you've got to close logic and reopen it again. Now the compressor threshold is first, followed by the ratio, attack, release, 
then the auto release and then is my circuit type yeah so there you go you can change that to get the editing controls for your favorite plugins to be in the right order to put the controls that you want to edit on the first page of edits in the right order and you go to the next page and you're editing the next page of parameters for that plugin right but you know by doing that with the playlist you can put the parameters for your favorite plugins that you use the most in the right order for how you want to control them when you go in and edit them using the Behringer. Hurrah! It worked. But you've got to close and reopen Logic again. All right. So that is plugins for you. Now, at the moment, we're just looking at, or all we've looked at, is uh, working with plugins in insert slots. Okay. We haven't looked at instruments, which is also a plugin. All right. So I think we better look at that next. So I'll just put this back to plug-in mode, channel view, uh, mixer view. All right. So now let's look at how this same plugin, to uh, this plugin button works when you're, when you want to use uh, instruments rather than the plugins in insert slots. 